Blanchett Calves 2.0, a new standard. Water has become a precious commodity in our modern world. It is no longer the most affordable option available to fight fires. In fact, it's one of the most expensive ways to fight fire today. To understand this statement, we have to go back to our basic firefighting tactic skills using the fire triangle. Firefighters understand the fire triangle. Heat, fuel, and oxygen equal fire. In order for the fire triangle to work, there are two important aspects that need to be addressed. Number one, only gas can burn. Remember, oxygen is gas. Gas can only mix with other types of gas. As a result, solid or liquid hydrocarbon fuel sources have to be converted into a gas before they can mix with oxygen and burn. This gassing off effect is accomplished by heating up the fuel source past its heat of vaporization point. Number two, only two things happen on a fire scene, the generation of heat and the dissipation of heat. Water only attacks the heat side of the fire triangle. This is where the problem lies. Only a small percentage of water actually gets used. In 2001, a study was performed by the Los Angeles County Fire Department. In the study, they compared the effectiveness of water on fire versus compressed air foam system, CAFs. Their point of measurement was bring the temperature of the fire room to a level theorized to be survivable by the occupants in order to be saved by the firefighters. The quantity of water used and time needed to bring the room from 600 to 200 degrees Fahrenheit was recorded. The results showed that calves required 78.6% less water to achieve the target temperature of 200 degrees in 75.8% less time. In another study, the National Interagency Fire Center, NIFC, concluded that 90% of the water used on test fires failed to extinguish the fire because the water did not penetrate the surface of the burning material. The NIFC found that in Oregon, 75 cents of every dollar paid in fire claims was a result of water damage. So if 90% of the water that we use for fire extinguishment is not getting the job done, and 75% of the insurance claim in one state are for water damage, should we not be looking at another source? I am sorry to say that I too have been guilty of this strategy along with other fellow firefighters. It is easy to get caught up in the moment and only see the destruction that is happening in front of our eyes. The burning of the scene, but again, this is not a major cost in that situation.
More water for fire extinguishment and overhaul also means more contaminated water to run off into storm sewers, water tables, streams, lakes, oceans, etc. Tainted water is a greater problem than ever before when you consider the contents of these items being burned today and the contaminants coming off of them into our water sources. Through ongoing testing, we are learning that AFFF, a product being used to fight these fires, contains a cancer-causing agent. When a fire is being put out with AFFF, the product left behind on the ground eventually soaks into the ground and into the water table, a source we highly depend on. This is detrimental because no one has figured out how to clean AFFF out of the contaminated groundwater. This is where the real costly problem lies. The health of our water sources currently and for the future generations to come. The impact of the damage from the fire scene is minimal compared to the impact it will have on our water sources for years to come. The solution to the problem is CAFs, a clean alternative with greater stopping power. There was a live test conducted by Blanchett Manufacturing Incorporated which included 10 vehicles in three different scenes. Five vehicles made up a simulated multi-car collision, four vehicles created a parking lot scene, and the full-size van demonstrates the use of the Blanchett External Interior Attack Structure Tools, also known as the Beast. The equivalent of 312 car tires were packed inside the 10 vehicles with diesel fuel and oil added, which created an uncommon and massive fire load. 62-year-old Greg Blanchett attacks the fire to demonstrate the effectiveness of the patented Blanchett KFS Accelerator Controller. In doing so, he was able to extinguish this extreme fire in under 6 minutes, while using less than 400 gallons of water in total. The live burn shows the effectiveness of the newly patented Blanchett KFS Accelerator Controller. The confidence in the system is demonstrated in this live test by how Blanchett is willing to put his life on the line like his brother firefighters do every day on the scene. Notice that this live burn test is being conducted less than 50 feet from the lake's main water inlet. This is to prove that there is no runoff of contaminated water as well as no hazardous foam residue left on the ground to wash into and pollute the lake. Fighting fires with only water will carry untold hazardous hydrocarbons due to the volume of water required and the runoff created from it. As seen by the study mentioned, another large benefit is the rapid knockdown being achieved with KFs, which immediately stops the gassing off of contaminated hydrocarbons into the atmosphere. The end result is a near zero runoff of contaminated water from fighting the fire. Which van? I'm on. Oh, it don't look bad. I'm gonna pull over when you come back. It's still doing good. I'm gonna hit it one more time. You got a little fire in the driver rear corner. I can't really see nothing. I'll be honest with you. Yeah. Hit that rear corner on the driver's side. Tell me what you think I got. At the back. Go to the back of the vehicle. There you go. Yep. Just white smoke now. KFS is a huge leap forward for the rapid knockdown experience when applied to firefighting. KFS became popular due to how efficient KFS put out fires with almost no extra damage caused by water and contaminated water runoff. This is possible because KFS is attacking all three sides of the fire triangle heat, oxygen, fuel. Up to this point, firefighters have been concentrating solely on the heat because water only attacks the heat side of the fire triangle. 
Moreover, firefighters need to keep in mind, KFS is also cutting off the oxygen to the fire by surrounding the fuel in a foam barrier and thus preventing further toxins from being released into the atmosphere. The foam of KFS is made up of a mixture of water with Class A foam concentrate, which has been approved for highly sensitive environmental areas. In this demo though, we are using dishwashing soap because of the extremely sensitive debate over firefighting foams used in the industry today. Dishwashing soap is used every day in all households and in a lot of industries. We've had to make a few adjustments here at Blanchard Manufacturing to the accelerator controller to accomplish this. Most calf systems on the market today have an Achilles heel. Current systems are littered with points of weakness from difficulty of operation, lengthy time for the foam mix balancing, unreliable components, costly maintenance, and the need to continuously exercise the system. Let's not forget the cost of training firefighting personnel. There is also an abundance of rules that need to be followed. For instance, most systems require 200 feet of hose and a certain amount of time at full flow to accomplish the scrubbing effect in order for the system to be operational. This is a major problem for departments with limited resources. In the end, the lack of reliability broke the trust that the firefighters had in the existing CAF system, which subsequently caused the popularity to die. Since firefighters could not trust the system, it left them questioning if it was worth putting people, property, and their own life on the line. The problem is that KF Systems did not have a world standard to go by in order to compare the good from the bad. Craig Blanchett has been working with multiple individuals ranging from numerous fire departments. Fire protection engineers to a major supplier contracted by the military, ADS, to develop a new industry standard called KFS 2.0. Since the Blanchett KFS Accelerator Controller has met the new KFS 2.0 standard. KFS 2.0 standard. Number one, the hose line will only be charged with a firefighting solution. Firefighting solution will be water and foam solution or KFS. Under no circumstances will the attack line be charged with just air. Number two, instant KFS. When the hose line is charged, there will be no more than a two second delay with the perfect mixture of KFS. Number three, absolutely no slugging. KF system will not produce the slugging effect. Number four, pump pressure variation. Pressure variances during operation on water and or air will not affect the KF system. Number five, no foam, no air. Air will only come if the foam system is activated and air will shut off when there is no more foam concentrate in the system. Number six, flow control. The firefighter controls the flow at the nozzle. The pump's operator only controls the mixture. Number seven, mixture control. Mixture control will be mechanically conducted inside the system and be operated physically with at least three hand-driven locking presets. Number eight, bubble structure consistency. The benchmark for functional KF's foam solution is to produce a product similar to shaving cream. Number nine, scrub. The mixing of water, foam solution, and air will be accomplished 100% before it reaches the hose line. Number 10. User-friendly. Ability to instruct the pump operator to effectively operate the KF system in under 2 minutes. Number 11. Stream reach. KFs has the same reach as water and can be sprayed into the wind the same as water. Number 12. 
reliability. You do not have to exercise the KF system to keep its operational integrity and efficiency. Number 13, ease of maintenance. Total maintenance time per year is one hour or less. Number 14, warranty. A minimum 10 year warranty on the KF system. With all that is happening in our world today and the impact that humans have and the choices they make, they realize how important it is to take into consideration the need of minimizing our footprint on the environment. This along with the efficiency that Blanchett KF's 2.0 system provides makes it appealing in all aspects. As firefighters, we need to look at the Blanchett KF's 2.0 system again. For the people we serve and to protect the future generations of this world, it is our responsibility, not our choice. The equivalent of 312 car tires were packed inside these 10 vehicles. A total of 370 gallons of water and dishwashing soap was used to extinguish and initially overhaul the burn. This is equal to 37 gallons of water per vehicle, or roughly one gallon per tire.